Hey guys, it's H76TR, and uh, today we're gonna be doing some bad piggies. So, let's get us started. So, uh, we're doing some rockets and such today. So I'm gonna explain a bunch of different models of rockets, and that is not a rocket. That's not a rocket. Go away. Go away. Alright. So, on that note. So first up, we have the simple uh, one-stage rocket. So, let's give it a shot. So as you can see, it gets pretty darn high. I mean, we're only... I'd say we got, like, probably three-quarters of the way there. And uh, you can also, very, very simply, you can just make it so you can control it in the air. So you can change directions or whatnot. Uh, it will lose a little bit of power because you're adding weight and also because you're losing propulsion because you're replacing these with propellers which are actually pretty heavy. So, as you can see, here we go. And it kind of veers off to the left. So, ta-da. But see, you don't get nearly as high. Eh. Stop it. Stop. Stop. There we go. So, that is that. Alright, so next we have the three-stage rocket, and uh, I forgot to mention that, you know, well, if you're making one-stage rocket, you can make it as big as you want. You know, you could just, like, make this longer, you know, fill it up, you know, do what you do. You know what I mean? Alright, so, here comes the three-stage rocket. Alright, so actually I'm wrong. This is a two-stage rocket. And, uh... Yeah. So, you can see that, you know, you go up, this part drops off, then you continue to go up, you can control it, whatnot, you know. I don't know. I, I could, probably could have made this lighter in a lot of ways. Probably didn't really even need... Nah, I could have really used one. Maybe not even had these two. But, you know, whatever. So, let's go! Two. Alright. Oh, and it's lagging. I don't wanna. Alright. I'm on the count of three. One, two, three. And for some reason, I always like to veer off to the left a little bit. It takes a lot of skill. Oh, dang it. That was really bad. Well, let's try this again. Alright. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm terrible at this. Alright. I haven't had a practice in this with this in a long time. You gotta just get time it just right. And... Boom! And now you have parachute. So you get almost to the top, but not quite there. I mean, I think I might have gotten there once. But I don't remember. I bet if I made it straight up, go straight up, you know, might have been a little bit more effective. Alright, but this time... This time it's going to be the three-stage rocket. So, here it comes. So, this is the three-stage rocket. Uh, so, as you can see, you light this one, uh, then you drop it off when it's dead, when well, it's whatever, and then you light this one, and then when that one runs out, you drop this, then you set off these two little bottles of Coke. Uh, as you can see, I put the steering mechanism on the bottom, because I didn't really have any room at the top, because I wanted to have as much power as I could. And uh, motors and propellers are weighing this down a lot, and these are not nearly as strong as a rocket. So, yes. So let's see it. Uh, I haven't done this in a while, so... We'll see if I can get it to the top. I have gotten it to the top in the past a lot, but it's a lot of fun to try to get to the top, you know? It's always a challenge. Dang it, it's, this one's not making it. Restart, I'm restarting this. Alright, I got this. Alright, here we go. Seems to be pretty straight. No, no, I dropped the wrong one. Dang it, I pressed the green instead of the blue. It's a lot of parts you gotta be thinking about one time. And... Uh, uh, almost, but, you know, for the sake of the video, 
length. I am not going to get all the way to the top. I have been able to pretty easily hit the top. And that is it for now. Oh, actually, I have one other rocket. Uh, it's actually a lunar lander sort of thing I made. I think it's pretty snazzy, if you ask me. It's pretty dang snazzy. So here it is. So, shebang, here is the lunar lander thing. Uh, the TNT is only there because once you release these, these don't exactly move away very far and it gets stuck on top of it. So it just blows it out of the way pretty easily. Uh, I don't remember this ever getting to the top of the map, but, you know, it's just, you know, it's a little gag. It's pretty fun, you know, just playing around with this one. So, here we go. Oh, that, what? Why does it do that? I don't remember ever doing that. One second, let me just fix that. Okay, so I fixed it. Uh, so now it should work. Boom. Alright. Let's do this thing. Eh. Alright. To space. Or space exploration. Oh, that, I, I am silly child. Alright, I forgot that this was actually a two-stage rocket, and I just <laughs> blew it up. Alright, think, think. Alright, that one's gotta go first. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. No, 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 no. See, this is one of the many challenges faced by a rocket scientist. I'm not actually a rocket scientist, if you're wondering. I know you actually thought I was, but I'm actually not. Eh. Well, that didn't exactly go too well, but it sort of worked. Let's go. One more time for kicks. Uh, boom. I keep for you gotta multitask, man. You just gotta, and it just doesn't happen. Alright. Well, thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, I think what I'm gonna do next time, I might be doing space shuttles. I don't know. Because I know I have a few designs, three to be exact, of uh, different kind of space shuttles. What they do is they, uh, you know, kind of, they turn, they shoot straight up, and then they land like a plane. Uh, none of them work too fantastically, but, um, yeah, so tell me what you think of the video. Uh, any feedback would be awesome. Thank you all so much for watching. See ya!